Today I'm going to cut this big log with this little chainsaw. Small yet mighty is the DeWalt 20 volt chainsaw. I have a newer chain on it, but it's good practice to touch it up before you go. The only thing this needs is a little bar oil to lubricate the chain. Overfilling this like me will just make it squish out the cap and you'll be left with a mess. So don't overfill it, but pff, good luck. What's going on there, Tim? Oh, no matter how hard you try, men always overfill the oil. It's just life, physics, mother nature, something. It's a cruel joke. We always need more oil than we think we need. Yeah, it just, we, why can't we ever stop at 97%? <laughs> why must we go 120%? I don't know. Now let's check to make sure it's putting out some oil. Yep, looks like we're good to go. We're gonna use the five amp hour power stack battery. Three, two, one, go. Now's a good time to sit down with a cup of coffee, turn up the music, and listen to the chainsaw chew on some chips. And don't you worry, I'll speed up some of the boring parts. I've really enjoyed this Dewalt chainsaw. I've also used the Milwaukee 18 volt chainsaw and it's very comparable. The runtime and battery life for the Dewalt has pleasantly surprised me. The only negative I've seen is it tends to cut out under heavy pressure or when it binds up, which is understandable for a 20 volt tool. I dragged this log across town so I could chop it up with power tools. I want to do even more extreme power tool videos than this chainsaw, chopping slabs off this log with tools such as sawzalls, grinders, and even an axe. If you're wondering what in the world I'm doing, I'm extending my selfie stick with my 360 degree camera so that I could get this cool shot for you. By the way, big wood shavings coming off is a sign of a sharp chain. If it's wood powder that's coming off, that means it's time to sharpen the chain. I love this for light duty cutting, but I'm intrigued by the 60 volt model which is said to be comparable to a gas chainsaw. If this video reaches 450 likes, I'll purchase and demonstrate the 60 volt chainsaw for y'all. So give it a free thumbs up and subscribe to catch that video if it comes out.
If you're looking for some extremely comfortable waterproof work boots, I've been running these Timberlands since 2016. Oh, they did it. This is amazing because cutting cured wood is harder than cutting a live tree. And this battery still had some life left in it. And I'm just under half a tank of bar oil too. That was after about eight and a half minutes of runtime. I'll be chopping slices off this log with a chainsaw, an ax, a grinder, and who knows what else. And that'll be in the top left hand corner. And if you want to see how this log got here, that video is in the top right hand corner. And you can also find it in the description below.